or is it? Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And today we're going to be talking about privacy on iOS 13 beta. Now, normally I wouldn't concern myself with making a video regarding the privacy of a beta firmware. However, so many people actually have iOS 13 beta installed that I really do find it important to actually discuss, especially since one of the big selling points for Apple these days is privacy, as well as of course the ecosystem. But a lot of people like the fact that your data is just that, your data. And Apple is doing something interesting with iOS 13. In fact, let me just get this out of the way. They do it with basically every beta release. However, not many people are fully aware of it. It's essentially sharing your app analytics as well as your crash logs with Apple and they force you to do it. So luckily there is a way to actually opt out of it, but it is forced into. In fact, when you upgrade to iOS 13 beta right now, regardless of what your privacy settings are on iOS 12, you're actually forced into sharing your app analytics with Apple. Of course, you can opt out immediately from sharing them with developers during the setup process, but there's no such opt out option, try saying that 10 times fast, for sharing your analytics with Apple. Again, they force you into it during the setup process, even if you're setting up a fresh, clean install of iOS 13 from the IPSW, though most of you are updating using the beta profile. Again, the exact same thing applies. You are forced to share them. Now, some of you might be wondering, what's the big deal? They're just crash logs and anonymous analytics, right? Well, that's the theory, but let's hop over into the settings application. We're going to scroll down a little bit to privacy, and then we're going to go to analytics. So this is definitely buried, but you can turn this off. In fact, all you actually have to do is just toggle it off right here. And you also, of course, have the option to toggle off share with app developers. Of course, I always want that to be off, right? But we definitely want the main one to be toggled off as well, if you're at all concerned about privacy. So let's go ahead and hop inside of here because it actually states that it's anonymous and none of your personal information is collected. So when we read right here, it says iPhone analytics may include details about hardware and operating system specifications, performance statistics, and data about how you use your device and applications. That's one of the parts that has me the most concerned. But when we scroll down here, it even gets a little bit scarier. Right here, you'll notice that it says by using these features, you agree and consent to Apple's and its subsidiaries and agents transmission, collection, maintenance, processing, and use of this information as described above. They also talk about utilizing your location data on your devices. It says right here, if you have consented to provide Apple with this information, which of course you do because when you install it, it forces you into it, and you have location services turned on, because let's face it, most of us do, Uber everywhere, right? The location of your devices may also be sent to help Apple analyze performance issues. For example, the strength or weakness of a mobile or Wi-Fi signal in a particular location. This analytics location data may include locations such as location of your device once per day, the location where a call ends, or the location of a failed in-store transaction. So guys, this is absolutely crazy in my opinion that you're divulging all of this information to Apple. Even though they claim it's anonymous, I don't want Apple knowing my habits. I don't want Apple knowing my location. Even if it's random, I don't want Apple knowing that. That's one of the main reasons I have an iOS device. So if you're on iOS 13 beta, long story short, hop inside of the settings app, scroll down to privacy, scroll down to analytics, go right here where it says share iPhone and watch analytics and just toggle that thing off. And then you can tap okay, letting you know it's also turning it off on your Apple Watch as well. And that's it guys. That's how to fully secure and retain your own personal data on your device running iOS 13 beta. You don't have to be a slave to Apple and you don't have to divulge as much information as they make you when you install the beta. It's as simple as that. Also keep an eye out on that setting every time you update your iOS device to a new beta, it might actually toggle back on. Just check out that setting every time. It's super easy. Again, it's only basically three taps. So I hope you guys liked this video, letting you know about privacy, iOS 13, and how to retain all of your personal data when updating to the beta. So you don't have to pay with your personal info to try all the latest features that are going to be rolled out to the public later this fall. And of course, until next time, this is ICU signing out.